Hi, welcome to Clean's Corner, where every Tuesday I answer your questions. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Q&A, boring, I'm gonna click off. But not today. Today is gonna be a really interesting one. I don't know how I'm gonna make it interesting, but I'm gonna make it interesting. What happened to your documentary, Road to Miranda? <laughs> well, if you guys have been following me for a long enough time, you know that I made a documentary called Road to Miranda and never released it. A lot has changed in my life since that documentary was made, and so we just really need to make an update because we filmed it a year and a half ago. Jay and I are just trying to figure out a time where we can get together and film the rest of it to update you guys on what's going on and then it will come out. What do you do when you're bored? Well, I don't really let myself get bored. I'm always working 24 seven and if I'm not working, I like to do a project, a craft, hang out with my friends or my family or cook. If you ever get bored, I just suggest that you unbore yourself. You don't need to be bored. There's always something to do. What's the weirdest yet most Miranda thing that's been said in the writer's room? There have been a lot of weird things that have been said in the Haters Back Off season two writer's room. Yesterday in the writer's room, I said, will you clean my butt? So <laughs> that was pretty weird. I don't know if that will end up in the show, but we're always pitching weird things and season two is gonna be really funny. I hope so. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to see it. Tour dates? Well, daddy wants to know tour dates and what daddy wants, daddy gets. My tour dates are right here if you wanna come see me on tour. I'm really excited. I'm going to Vancouver and Anaheim. I'm doing VidCon and then I'm going overseas to Sweden and Amsterdam, a bunch of really fun places. So make sure to get your tickets before they're gone. Have you ever had to check your underwear after you fart to make sure you didn't poop yourself? I don't need to check my underwear to know if I poop myself. I just know. There's sometimes you have one of those farts and you're just like, yup. These underwears is ruined. <laughs> Your thoughts on religion. Okay, we about to get deep, girl. So I have kind of avoided talking about religion online just because it's such a controversial topic. But I feel like I want to open up to you guys and tell you just kind of my thoughts and feelings on something like religion. I think religion can be wonderful and beautiful. And I also think religion can be really nasty and ugly. And I'm not saying that one religion is nasty and one religion is beautiful. I think any religion can be a beautiful thing. If you have a religion that you believe in and it helps you to be a better person and encourages you to love everyone and spread positivity and kindness and be the best version of yourself that you can be, I think that's beautiful. I really love religion for that, that it helps people to think and feel that way. As long as you are making an impact on this world for the better, then whatever you need to do to get to that point, like I am very supportive of. What I don't like is when people use religion as a way to be cruel. You know, God's says you're going to hell because of this. I think that is wrong. You can have that opinion, but you shouldn't blame it on God or Satan or whatever religion you believe in. That's that's when religion really bothers me, is when people use it as an excuse to be cruel. I think that's really unfortunate. I know a lot of wonderful religious people from all different religious backgrounds, and I love that they have something in their life that they can cling to and helps them get through the day and makes them want to be a better person. I think that's beautiful. And I know a lot of people who don't believe in anything Thing. They are wonderful people too. They find inspiration to be a good person and do good in the world through other things And I think that's beautiful too. So that's kind of how I feel about religion I think it's wonderful and beautiful and I'm so supportive of it and excited about it when it inspires people to be a good person And I know now that I've talked about religion the comment section of this video is just gonna be filled with people's opinion I would encourage you guys to just be kind in the comments because you're not helping anyone by being cruel in the comments It's not doing anything for anybody. You're certainly not gonna change someone's opinion by being mean in the comments. You're just gonna make them dislike your belief even more. So I would just encourage you all to just be kind and loving in the comments today. And I'd love to know your opinion on any religion and any thought and ideology. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it, but just do it in a kind and loving way. I think discussions about religion and serious topics are important, but I think that having those discussions using hate is wrong. What is your favorite college memory? I have a lot of fun college memories and I have a lot of horrible college memories, but I think one of my favorites is just any time I spent with Corey DeSoto, who is my best friend. We would have so much fun together. we get animal style fries in and out in the middle of the night and talk about our feelings. We would run around campus and like pick flowers because it was illegal on campus to pick the flowers and there was like a $200 fine per flower or something. So we'd pick them and be like, we're rich. We picked five flowers. We have a thousand dollars technically. So I have a lot of really fun memories with Corey. I think all my favorite memories from college are with him. Why does Gus Gus love your panties? My cat Gus Gus loves my underwear and it is so gross and so weird. It's, he doesn't like the dirty ones by the way. I'm not that perverted. I don't leave my dirty underwear out for him to eat. I mean, sometimes maybe it's on the floor, but he doesn't like that. He likes clean underwear. It's fine. I love the boy. He can play with my panties all day if he wants to. 
All right, that's all the questions I'm gonna answer for you guys today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And make sure to push the bell notification so you can get notified anytime I make a video. A lot of you have been telling me that you got unsubscribed from my channel somehow on accident, or you're not getting notified when I upload. So that is the best way to find out if I've uploaded a video. So just go ahead and click that bell notification and you'll be good to go. All right, love you guys. Remember to spread happiness and not hate and have a wonderful day. Bye.